Hello, uh, in today's lesson we are going to take a look at the analytics component of the uh, WSO2 API manager. So just to give an overview of the uh, gateway component, we will publish uh, events based on API invocations and these events uh, will be uh, received by event receivers that reside on the analytics server. Uh, then event analyzers on the analytics server will generate summarized data using predefined summarization logic against these events. And then in turn the summarized data will be retrieved by the API manager to populate various statistics graphs. So there are five main components that are involved in the analytics of the WS2 API manager and first of all you have the usage publisher which is responsible for publishing events to the analytics server. Then you've got event streams which uh, act as uh, stores on the analytics server that actually persist uh, the events that are received. Uh, then we have summarization plans which are actually uh, Apache Spark uh, scripts that have been pre-written that are responsible for summarizing the data that is actually stored in the event streams. Next, once this data is summarized, they are stored in uh, Apache Spark tables uh, which can then uh, serve then this uh, summarized data can be then served from these tables and finally uh, the analytics server also provides the option of storing this uh, uh, summarized data in an external uh, database table. So if you look at how this summarized data is actually accessed there are two main uh, methods of doing this and uh, the first method is uh, a REST API which is actually uh, provided by the analytics server which gives direct access to the data that is stored in the Apache uh, Spark tables that reside on the analytics server. And as I mentioned earlier we can also access this summarized data from the RDBMS tables to which this data has been written. So uh, the, if you have to compare these two methods, uh, the, uh, when accessing data from the RDBMS tables uh, gives uh, an advantage uh, such as being able to actually back up, easily back up the data that is stored at the at, at table level and also uh, this makes upgrading between products easier because uh, summarization data that has been stored from previous product versions does not get uh, does not get lost when you upgrade to a uh, newer version of the product. So this is the main advantage that you have with storing this summarized data at RDBMS level. So that concludes uh, the look that we had today at the analytics side of the WSO2 API manager. Thank you.